All right, guys, in this episode, we roll on some paint. So if you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe. If you don't like it, share that with me in the comments below. Stay tuned. Thirty minutes and counting. Out of the enamel hardener, got about half of a quart left. So I needed an eighth of a can to go in there to do his bubbly thing. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Wide Open Throttle. I'm glad to be back. Sorry for the delay. I had to leave town for a weekend, three or four days for a family issue. And then I was sick this past week. So it kind of sucked. I did come in one night and I finished sanding and getting everything buffed and prepped and ready for paint. I got the sides taped up to cover up any drippage. I got pieces of cardboard and body panels everywhere throughout the shop ready to paint. I put the stuff, enamel hardener, in the paint. It's now been 30 minutes as they recommend. So I have a half a quart of paint left from this last half a quart that did all this. So hopefully it is enough since it's just a top coat. Since it's just a top coat, final coat. So I'm gonna work on the body first and get this all painted. Uh, I sanded down, got all this prepped front and back that was primered and I'll work on painting that paint the top, paint the edges, see how far I can get on the fender's hood and rear bumper. And then there's a couple Volter Wagon light trim pieces and stuff that I'll still have to paint and get uh, looking nice for the car. All right, it's time to get down and dirty. So let's get painting. I wanna get the paint, drop it in my impact three piece kit with a foam roller and handle since this costs three dollars and I'll use the tray foam brush I think this costs 49 cents so right here under five dollars I have my painting supplies I think the most expensive part of this paint job is the blue tape and the enamel hardener because the paint only cost me six or seven bucks a quart and this stuff's cheap it's way cheaper than an air compressor a blower an air gun, all that equipment to make it air safe, keep oil out of your sprayer, all that fun stuff. So yeah, this is definitely the DIY budget way of painting your car. So I'm going, I need, definitely need to paint that stuff. I think I'm going to work my way top to bottom, kind of like how you wash a car. So I'm going to start it up there, paint, do edges and work my way down to these spots front and back. So let's get brushing and painting and rolling.
Well, we got some painted. We got the front and the rear, up the sides, and we got the front windshield area. Uh, something's wrong with the paint, unfortunately. Um, let me show you. So it must just it must have just sat too long for the last month or two and got hot. I had it shaking and everything, but there are pieces like this in the paint. And with this being the final coat, I don't want all these pieces getting stuck to the paint. So I want to scrap this batch. Throw this batch away. Um, I got replacement rollers and I have another foam brush. I get another tray there, dollar. I might even have one right there on the shelf next to B's full build. Right there. And so I will get another, I don't know, group of paint, fresh paint, shaken paint, remixed paint. And then I'll have, see, I don't want all those chunks in the final coat. So I could work them out and they could do the first coat at least on the bottom. So now the whole Volkswagen Beetle is one color which is nice. No more black trim front and back. Got that nice little points on the end there and there. I think it looks kind of cool. Up into the black that we painted. And uh I still got fenders. I still got the top to do. I started to do some of the top on the edge that you've seen right there. And I didn't like pieces started coming out. So that is that. Alright guys, there you have it. Um, that is life in the world of vehicles and restoration. Things don't always go as planned. So unfortunately I'll set back. I'll get some more tomorrow morning. Fresh batch. Get it remixed. I still have plenty of the enamel hardener left since it's for a gallon and I still got a fourth or almost half of it probably in there ready for the next batch. So, again, unfortunately, it didn't work out. I try to touch up, do the window wells again, front and back, all the seams. Try to do the roof seam again on both sides and the crack seam along the, the roof and finished up all this touch up stuff here. At least got it the first coat, so maybe tomorrow afternoon it'll be dry. And I can apply more paint to that, make it look even better, give it a better protection. New paint, mixing cup for exactness, and enamel hardener. More trays, extra cups, brushes, all the good stuff. We're ready to paint, day three. Maybe we'll get something done today. Let's get it out, pour it in here, put that on there, mix it together, paint. All right guys, day three. Three? Yeah, day three of this project of trying to get it painted. So I got everything sanded, got things taped. Had paint issues, as you just saw. I got new paint. I got mixing cups to make sure things are precise and on point. I went back through and dusted and wiped everything down again re-sanded some of the spots that had issues from the paint messing up. Uh, we finished the, the front and rear fenders. They're all painted for the first coat, so now they're all getting a second coat with everything else. So I got the paint and the hardener mixing. You gotta wait 30 minutes to let it finish and set up and do whatever it does. So we're probably 10 minutes in. You got 20 minutes till the paint is ready. So I'm just make sure everything is good, in place, ready to go, 
so that we can just start painting and blow through as much paint as we can and uh, see how far we get with what we got. Stay tuned. Here we go. literally just took my phone out of the freezer because of that warning this warning right here okay so whole car done bottom size fronts tops I just kept painting because of the paint has the stuff going on the hardener and then my phone was way too hot and was going to explode so now I want to work on these two pieces and then these two pieces, and then those two pieces last, so don't kick dirt on them. Let's go, let's paint. Alright guys, so it's a good few solid hours of painting. Things are looking pretty good. I'm going to walk around carefully to not kick up dust. I'm going to peel the paper before I leave so you guys don't freak out like last time. Wash my hands outside. Kind of move on with life. And let it sit here. It's smoking hot in here so hopefully it'll help it cure. I'm sweating to death. And I think everything's good. So uh, we'll, go, we'll go from there. Let's peel some tape. Again, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Wide Open Throttle Garage. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me on this one. This is probably going to be a long episode, so I hope you enjoyed everything you just saw, however much that's going to be. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, more to come. So now the final paint is done. Seals, headliner, gaskets, 
windows. So that's kind of next on the list. Um, I got a surprise for you. Next episode, hopefully, I can show you that surprise. And we'll see what's in store for some future things coming up. So got some fun, awesome plans. We'll see how it works out over the next week. And I might be showing you some cool stuff. So paint's done, it's all settling, smoothing out, being nice and shiny, nice hard shell on this car. So this is kind of the conclusion of the DIY $50 Rust-Oleum roll-on paint job. It's looking good. Once I get it all together, put some put the fenders back on with the new seals, get everything mounted up back to the car the way it should be, and I can give you kind of the final reveal of all the paint and some stuff with the car. And it should be looking awesome. Again guys, thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Done, 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 done.